Hey, you want to know everything there is to know about pickleball and why it's such a fast growing sport? Well, great, because in today's video, me and Kevin are going to teach you all about pickleball, show you how to play it, well, show you how to kind of play it, and we're going to get after it right now. Okay, and you guys know that we only travel in our golf carts when we do these videos, and we only travel in the only golf cart, a club car. So here comes Kevin. Ke Kevin. Kevin. This handicap, dude. You can't park here. Oh, no, no. I, I actually won the 2022 Winsong Championship uh, Pickleball Tournament, so this is, uh, this is good. Kevin. It's, I thought it's reserved for Kevin, Kevin Arkle. It's the handicap place. This is a Winsong Ranch. I won All the right, 2022 well, Open. We'll let Kevin park here because he thinks he's the champion of all pickleball here, but he's not. He's not. We'll let him park here for now. All right, let's go play. All right, so here we go. We're going to go play pickleball right now. Oh, we'll go. This is where you play, right? This is actually uh, considered a tennis court, so yeah. Ten Let's oh, play tennis. Yeah. It's a tennis court. My bad. Yeah. All right. Let's go over here. So, you don't play pickleball in a tennis court. You do. But how does it work? Well, the only people that are mad at us these days is actually tennis players because they're taking their court. But here in Winsong Ranch, look at We take a tennis court and we make four pickleball courts. That's the cool part. You take a tennis court and look at We got four courts that we can play on and dominate on. I've never lost. So, today, Let's go play. AJ, get ready. Let's go. <laughs> Here we Boom, go. So, check it out. You get four. Oh, God. Dog. God. <laughs> so, you get four pickleball courts for one tennis court. Pretty cool. Okay. Before we start playing, we need to go over some of the rules so everyone knows. Kevin, tell us about the rules. Yeah. So, the game is to 11. You need a minimum of two players. And I like four just because I like to hit as many people as I can all day long. But so, that is one of the things. Y you can hit people. Not like, you can't hit him with your racket, but you're saying with the ball. Exactly, yep. Got it. And the one thing you want to do is always stay out of the kitchen. Oh, this what's is the, the kitchen? kitchen? This is the kitchen. I'm in the kitchen. So you got to so get this, out of the kitchen. So this white line is called the kitchen. It's kind of weird, the kitchen. All right. It's actually the yellow line, but yeah. Oh, the yellow line. Guys, I only played it once. The yellow line is the kitchen, guys. Yellow line. So if the ball bounces in the kitchen, you're allowed to go in the kitchen. If the ball is comes up out of the air you can hit it and but it, you have to be out of the kitchen so your momentum cannot take you in this is a point to the other teams you got to stay out of it you can't jump out of it but you are not allowed to go in the kitchen if the ball is in the air stay out of the kitchen stay out of the kitchen that's, that's what i tell my wife super easy for me i just stay out of the kitchen <laughs> i'm be really good at this pickleball thing <laughs> yes okay cool all right and then what about scoring so i hit the ball you don't hit it i get a point yeah, so you serve opposite player just like uh, you would in tennis. And then what you want to do, the ball has to bounce three times and then it's live. So it bounces three times and then you don't have to let the ball bounce. You yep. can just go racket to racket, yep. racket to Get racket. out of the air after that third time. Okay. All right, cool. And so that's when it gets serious, guys. It's like when it starts getting in the air, like that's when, that's when it gets real, you know? Yep. And then as, as you get better in playing pickleball, it's all about the dink. So you want dink. to keep it in the kitchen. You want to keep it low so you don't have a partner hit at you right in the face. And uh, that is not fun to get hit in the face. So if we learn anything today, guys, it's all about the dink. It's all about the dink, baby. All right, let's go play. <laughs> tip when you're playing pickleball don't be the person that warms up for 45 minutes and holding up everybody that will get you kicked out of the game <laughs> Ow! That was 
way out. What? Totally out. Way out. If you're playing pickleball and you see an obvious call like that, don't ever play with that guy again. Nice shot. Hey, when playing pickleball, anything close, be a good pickleball Eonian and call it in. Hey, after the end of the match, when you win or lose, make sure you touch paddles. Don't be that guy that gets mad and throws his racket. I've been there. All right, guys, we hope you enjoyed this video talking all about pickleball. And listen, we're out here making these videos to help provide content for you and bring value to all these fun things that are happening out here. So help us out by leaving a comment below. All you gotta do is click that little button, leave a comment. We can start the conversation. We can answer all the questions you have about pickleball or any amenities, golf carts, golf cart communities, golf courses, got all the connections, know all the stuff. But before we get going, we wanna talk a little bit about the opportunity in pickleball right now as far as an investment. So tell us about that, Kevin. Right now, the opportunity in, in pickleball is growing like crazy. 99% of facilities are outdoors, 1% indoors. Huge opportunity for growth and development. Looking to make some money? Stay tuned for our next video on opportunities for pickleball indoors. Are we, are we, so are we, buying a pickleball? Did we just buy a pickleball? We bought a pickleball. Hey! Woo!